Hey guys, I am back again with another video. Of course, who doesn't love swatches and makeup, eyeshadow, lipstick? Come on. I have some stuff from ColourPop that I got, and it's new to me, but I'm not sure if it's really new as far as ColourPop goes, but I wanted to show you guys some swatches, some things that I received in the mail, and I am wearing one of the lipsticks today, and I'm wearing two of the eyeshadows. I will show you as I go along what is on my face. And if you're wondering, these earrings are from Shop Miss A. I do have that haul coming in the near future. Right now, I'm going back and forth from an iPad to a tablet for filming because my iPad only lets me film so much. So if you're wondering, that is why. I try to do the better quality videos for the swatches and things that you need to see up close. And for like holes and little things, I'm going to use the tablet and everything. Hope you guys are cool with that, just for the time being. But let's jump right into the swatches and get into the good stuff. I have lippies, I have eyeshadows, and highlighters. I think for the first... We're going to do the eyeshadows first, and then we'll jump into lippies and stuff. So in total, I believe I have like eight shadows, and then I have three highlighters. So we'll do those first, and then we'll get into lippies and stuff. All right. All right, I'm going to do eyeshadows. First we have, I am wearing, I'll show you the two that I'm wearing. I'm wearing eye candy which is in the front half of my lid, right here. And then I'm wearing Hydroplane in the middle. And then the outer corner is a different color from a BH Cosmetics palette, which I will show you in another swatch video later on. So I'm going to swatch. First we have is Eye Candy. It is a Super Shock eyeshadow. This is not from any collection that I know of. So if there is from a collection, I will let you know. So now, right now we're just swatching eye candy. It's a very shimmery, like pinky lilac shade. Yes, it does take a little bit. It does take a little building up, and you do need a base for it to fully show, like the way I have it on my eye. I did have to go over it maybe two or three times in order to achieve the color that I have. But hey. Honestly, ColourPop has amazing products, so no complaints. Next eyeshadow we have is Hydroplane, which is a beautiful... This is from the Amanda Steele and ColourPop collab. This is just gorgeous. This is a blue shade with, like, purple, green, silver sparkle in it. Oh, I did a look. This is how I did my look today. I have it on my Instagram. And I called it Mer My sister came up with the name Mermaid Splash because when you look at this, it is like the perfect aqua sea color, like a mermaid kind of color. So that's why we came up with that name. I will have my Instagram down below if you'd like to follow me and see more up close shots of my looks and my makeup. If you're interested, please follow me. I'd love, I would, I would love if you did. This one is Valley Girl. This is like typical, like goldish, like shimmery shade. Again, this is all very unique, very out of the box. I love ColourPop. I love how they just blow you away with their amazing shadows. Right here is Valley Girl. Again, ColourPop, what I like about them is you can get like $5 off coupons every time you shop there. So if you order, you sometimes get something like, I, I would either say either free shipping or a free item pretty because you're getting $5 off. The next one is Cusp. This, uh, all these shades are just 
beautiful. This is like a blue green with a ton of shimmer in it. We'll do a swatch for you guys. There is cusp. Oh, just again, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You will never come across eyeshadows like what ColourPop creates because they're just amazing. All right, next one we have is from the ColourPop and Hello Kitty collection, and this is called Rainbow. This one is very, it's like a very iridescent sheer like wash of like glitter and stuff to me this is great as a topper if you want me to put something on top of another eyeshadow or maybe some on your lipstick just as a few pointers you know I'm not saying that's what you have to do but we'll get right into the swatch yeah this 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 takes a little building up because this is not really like, it's a lot of glitter. That is rainbow right here. Let's watch. It's very iridescent. It's beautiful. I have no complaints. I will make use out of it whether I use it as a highlighter. I use it on top of different colors. Either way, I will use it. This next one is Porter. Again, this is just the regular, doesn't seem like it goes with any collab or anything. Just one swipe, and it's like a perfect, like, red-brown, oh, but again, lots of glitter, lots of prettiness to it, which, of course, gotta love glitter. So that one was Porter. We have two more eyeshadows. This one is Far Side. That's how that one looks. Again, like I said, all their all their shades are just stunning. That's Far Side. Again, it's a very gold brown. Like with a ton of shimmer. Next one we have up is Prickly Pear. So that one looks. This is a little bit different than the other shade. Again, these are all sometimes in the pot they look a little similar, but when they're swatched, you can tell a total. Yeah, see this one has more like hints of red in it. Again, it's beautiful. I have no complaints. I always like to pick different shades that I don't own from ColourPop because that way I have a wide variety of shades from them. All right, we have three highlighters. First one is Over the Moon, which I am wearing today. If you see a highlight, that glitteriness, it is this. This is by far one of the prettiest highlighters I've ever come across. It is just stunning, honestly. I don't know how they do it. I really just, just blown away because you don't really come across that is over the moon. <laughs> Again, these are a little bit more pricey. These are more like around the $8 range as eyeshadows are between 5 and 6 depending on, you know, how much that they're going to make you pay for it. Next one we have is Flexitarium. And this one is very like, as you can tell, it's like golden. It's pretty. They're all very different, but very, very pretty. That is Flexitarian right here. It's more like a gold sheen to it, but again, amazing. Last but not least, as far as highlighters, is Wisp. 
this is a way darker than what I thought it was going to be, but I will make this work. I'm not going to sit here and lose hope. It's still just amazing. I mean, look at this. That's barely tapping in the product, and you get that much payoff. I mean, you seriously can't beat it for $8. Alrighty, that is all as far as shadows and highlighters. Now we're going to jump into lipsticks. Okay. We have quite a few, so I'm going to try to get through these as quickly as possible. Okay. First one up is Goldie, and this is a matte X. I'm trying to figure out where to do this. You know what? Let me clean up my hand first, and then we will do it on this hand, because it'll be easier for me to do it that way. Okay, let me know some of your favorite eyeshadows that you've seen so far. Do you have any favorites? Did you ever purchase any of them? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know any eyeshadows you recommend that you want me to try. Because I'm always looking to try different products and different eyeshadows. Clean up this hand as best as I can so I could swatch some of the lippies for you ladies. More of us watching. Okay. Alright. Now, first one I could be have is Goldie, which is a Maddox. Just dry off my hand a little bit. Alright. That is Goldie. It's a very deep, burgundy red. Very, very, like I said, it's a very gorgeous shade. That's why I had to pick it up. The next one we have is from the Hello Kitty collection. I believe these were a little bit cheaper, maybe like a dollar or two, less than the original price. This one is in Date Mate. Again, it's a matte formula. It's a very bright pink, but it's different. That's why I like it. Next up, we have O oh Snap. It is a matte formula as well. Right there. Surprised it says matte because it doesn't look matte, it looks kind of glossy, but I don't know, it's weird. It does say it's a matte though. I don't know, you let me go. I don't know, I look at it from the light and it looks pretty glossy to me, but I don't know, maybe that's just this one is Baywatch and this is another matte. very deep, like, dusty rose shade, I would call it, like a mauve. This one is in the shade Allaire. This is a really dark shade, but all of their shades are just, just lovely. That is Allaire right there. Next one up is Mirror Mirror. Is that one looks like. Again, this is another matte formula. This one is Scandi, which is a matte formula as well. Satin, sorry. Not matte. This is satin finish. You could totally tell, but again, the, 
color is just beautiful. Bound, which is a glossy. Again, this is very highly pigmented. Doesn't matter if they're glossy matte or anything. I am wearing Aquarius right now. It's like a dark neutral shade. It's Aquarius. And last but not least, we have. Okay, we have Topanga, which is a satin. That is Topanga. So there you go. Those are all the lipstick shades. And these are the highlighter shades that we, we picked up and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't want to make this video too long. But it's a lot of swatches, a lot of products. So let me know some of your favorite ColourPop products down below. Did you buy some of the same ones I have? Are you interested in any of them? Did any of my swatches encourage you to buy any of the products let me know I'd like to know if you guys are planning on making an order and everything and I love this company I oh, I just couldn't wait to get the box I was so excited hope you guys are having a great weekend I will see you again soon bye